What's up guys, Headphones Neil here with a quick um, film trilogy review in the form of the Avengers trilogy. So I recently had the inkling to rewatch the films just because I wanted to, I wanted something to watch, take a break from the usual cycle of watching stuff. And I got to thinking that I would do a review where I would see how the films hold up and if it would be something where it would be worth watching the films and see if they are good as far as tight storytelling, if they're good jumping off points for the rest of the MCU as far as the first three phases go and all of that. And so overall I want to say that the, um, the trilogy of films does do that very well to the point where if you watch the three films you kind of know that these are all superheroes you want you're left wanting to know more about the backstories so kind of why um iron man and captain america had their falling out um who's this vision guy and where did he come from who's uh wanda maximoff and who is she talking about when she's talking about her brother when her and hawkeye are talking at the end of endgame um, who are all the people who are standing um, at Tony Stark's funeral? Um, what did um, um, Bruce Banner or the Hulk mean when this is when um, the invasion on New York was all Loki, which is kind of a throwback to the first Avengers? But um, and then kind of how did or the whole backstory with uh, Thor and Natalie Portman's character when she had the Infinity Stone and they have to go back to Asgard? So. Overall, when I watch the three films, um, if you want a good summary of all the different characters, then watching Avengers, then Avengers Infinity War, and then rounding it out with Endgame is a very good trilogy as far as storytelling and the Thanos story arc. And then if you want to know more about the different characters and their backstories, how did they, how did we get to where they are? Uh, like, do you want to see the evolution of Tony Stark's Iron Man suits? Do you want to know more about Captain America and why he does the, uh, why he acts the way he does? Do you want to learn more about the Guardians of the Galaxy and who they are? Um, what is this um, place in Africa called Wakanda and how did the Black Panther get all of his powers and all of that? So overall, watching the Avengers trilogy works out very well. And um, when you do watch the films, it to me it does um, make me want to rewatch all the other films. So it's a very good um, to me. They're very, it's a very tight storytelling trilogy. Um, granted, you do have Avengers Age of Ultron, which is kind of the standout film as far as not really fitting in as far as an Avengers story arc goes. Um, and it serves more as a, um, a stepping stone for the creation of Vision, um, but also why um, the Hulk was with um, Thor and the Asgardians versus being on Earth. So that kind of is one of those things where it's neither here nor there, and it kind of was a, fills in um, a stepping stone, which Black Widow to me was supposed to do, and that's actually the other standout part, and kind of the only flaw in all of the storytelling that is presented in all these films. So when you watch the tril Avengers trilogy, and then you want to learn about Vision and then where the Hulk went, Avengers Age of Ultron fills that in nicely. But then when you watch Black Widow, it kind of stands out because they do bring up Budapest twice. So first in Avengers and then second in Endgame. So you would think that Black Widow introduces how um, her, um, Black Widow got out of the program that she, the training program she was in, and then have more details on what happened in Budapest and her team up or meeting and team up with Hawkeye, which the film doesn't do very well. And it would have been nice to have Hawkeye in the film um, and then present all of that. And then also tie it in with her, her family story arc and all of that. But it feels like after rewatching Avengers that Black Widow spent more time on the family aspect rather than the part of the story that actually would have had us or would have been able to relate us more to her character. Um, and it didn't really, it feels like they could have taken that extra step, which didn't happen. And it's along the lines, uh, like I've always been, or I've been going back and saying, is that it relates directly to the Star Wars story for Han Solo, that 
um, the two thing or the three things that we want to see is um, Han Solo's um, meeting and team up with Chewbacca and how they become friends. Um, how he how um, Han wins the Millennium Falcon and um, how he makes the Kessel Run in um, twelve parsecs, and then his ultimate becoming not necessarily becoming a smuggler, but how he becomes the best smuggler and then ultimately drops the. A uh, load of spice when he does the job for Java and how Java puts the bounty on his head. But when you don't include the whole thing with Java and don't even bring it up on screen, it becomes another case of telling instead of showing. And it takes things down a notch um, as far as how good the films could potentially be. So, like, and like I said with my Black Widow review, so while the film was not necessarily bad, to me, they. Um, missed a key opportunity in storytelling which is what they did really well in all the other films as far as um, telling a good story in the first three phases of the MCU so um, for me I, the one way that I would be able to what that I would change um, my feelings on is um, how they present um, the re the next few films, so Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, Shang Chi, and all of that. And how um, they potentially bring up Natasha's sister as a new Black Widow. Um, so we'll see how all that goes, but that's kind of how I feel. So if you're someone who has not seen any of the MCU films out so far, I would definitely recommend starting with the three Avengers films then going back to watch Iron Man and Captain America to fill in their backstories, um, then Thor, the Thor trilogy, fill, then uh, round it out with Avengers Age of Ultron, um, and then work your way into um, Guardians of the Galaxy, those two films, the Ant-Man films, um, and then finally Black Widow, and it feels like I am missing a film. Oh, it may, um, If you want to watch the related Hulk film, you can... I think it was the one with um, the second one, not the original one, so it, the one that ties into the MCU. Um, you can probably watch that before Guardians of the Galaxy, but basically all the rest of the films uh, work their way in as far as um, Marvel stories like the Star Wars stories. Um, so that's kind of a good starting point for me. So I was just thinking of what, that that would be a good way to make your way through the films. Um, you can mix them up as you want, but kind of watching them in, you know, character order and trilogy order may, uh, makes it a little bit easier for, to get through just so you don't have to go back and forth through all the films. And it kind of fills in each, each individual character um, as you go through them. And you don't necessarily have to go in that particular order that I said, so you can do, you know, the Avengers trilogy and then Guardians of the Galaxy or Thor or Hulk or Iron Man or Captain America. Basically start with the characters that you like the most and you relate to the most and then work your way through all those various trilogy and duology of films until you get through them all. Um, so even um, as far as Black Widow goes, as far as being the least of the films, you can even start with that one, get that one out of the way, and then do the rest of the films with whichever characters and groups of characters you like and finish them up like that. So that's all there is for this particular review. So I kind of wanted to just do a quick bonus episode before I jump into the um, reviews for the coming months. So of course the next review is going to be the next episode of Star Wars The Bad Batch and then the... Um, if you're a supporter of the show, you can, of course, get the update that I posted yesterday, uh, July 28th, as far as um, the uh, reviews that are coming in August, a special uh, post uh, for the month as well, um, and the meetup if you, anyone is interested. So that is all for this particular review, so thanks for tuning in. Um, I know I did a review of the of the Avengers trilogy, I think back in October of Nove or November of last year, but just wanted to, like I said, I just wanted to rewatch them and um, kind of see how they hold up by just watching those films and um, see if it works as a starting point for um, the rest of the MCU. 
So, um, like I said, that's all there is for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, uh, feedback, things you like, didn't like, maybe an update on the order that I provided, then you can find me on Twitter at tellin01. The website is headphonesneal.reviews for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. But thanks for tuning into this particular episode, and until next time. <laughs>